condemnation you talk of competition comparison this is why people seek validation seeking validation is more in women and that's why i'm talking about this because always comparing themselves to the next person forgetting that both of you don't even have the same name you are just a unique entity on your own and now you're comparing yourself to somebody maybe you met on the gram or maybe on twitter or maybe somewhere social media or maybe even in your street that you don't even know her background that you don't even know anything about now you're comparing now you're competing with people and it makes you lose the sense of who you truly are you begin to seek what people are doing to compare to what you want to do for yourself stop comparing yourself and stop competing with people understand that you are who you are and that you're different and you're unique you don't need to be like any other person take your place as who you are the first thing i feel like you have to do to stop seeking for validation from the outside people to actually realize your self-worth is changing your belief Maybe you've been told that you're useless. Maybe you've been told that you're nobody. Maybe you've been told you're ugly by a very rubbish man. Now you're beginning to feel less of yourself and you're beginning to feel like you are nobody truly. So the first thing is change your belief. That thing in your brain that keeps telling you that you're nobody, that you are ugly, that you are stupid, that you are useless, that whatever the thing tells you, start telling yourself the opposite of it if it tells you that you're ugly tell the thing that i am beautiful tell yourself that you are a special image and you're made in god's likeness therefore you are worth every energy every time everything you can think of learn who you are learn your place in god god says you're a wonderful image so don't let any human being talk down on yourself you are who god says you are and not who a mere human being says you are even if it's your parents that makes you feel less of yourself it's time to start talking to yourself it's time to change that belief it's time to let yourself know that you are actually that girl you don't have to wear the beautiful clothes that everybody on the gram wears for you to actually be that girl it's just the belief you have inside it's something that it's it's from within for you not to seek validation from the outside world you have to be able to convince yourself that whatsoever decision you take is just the best for you tell yourself that it's me that has the final say and not what people outside think if that makes sense you are okay even though you are not perfect that you are imperfectly perfect and that is why you are different nobody is perfect and nobody will ever be perfect we can only be perfect in christ and what does god say about you god said you're a wonderful image so why do people have to tell you that you're not get yourself to believing that you are you are what every good thing on earth but at the point you are learn to love yourself for who you are right now and not who you want to be in future self-affirmation can just skyrocket your belief from negative to positive so it works you could just pick one thing and tell yourself that in every day for one month one month is like 30 days every morning you wake up you tell yourself i am beautiful you wake up the next morning you tell yourself i am beautiful before the month ends you start believing you're beautiful then the next thing is self-love self-love here has a different meaning self-love is calming down like slowing down and understanding the things you love just trying to understand yourself i feel like that's what the self-love here means because now you are trying to stop people from validating you want to take yourself serious you want to be that feminine woman that has high value and you've started changing your belief you've started taking yourself serious you've started feeling like okay i'm that girl just try as much as you can to add value to your life every day because one thing i believe is if you add value to your life you love yourself more and if you love yourself more people will love you people see the energy you give you have to experiment with yourself in love nobody knows you the way you know yourself so you are the only person that can truly tell yourself the truth if you want to but if you're still lying to yourself i wonder why so you have to slow down go within yourself find like the genuine truth what are the things i love about myself is it my height is it my skin color is it my you know my hair color my nails my there must be something you love about yourself pick out the positive things you love about yourself also evaluate yourself and see the negative things you love or you don't like about yourself because the negative now you don't like them compare the positive to the negative is the positive higher than the negative 
or is the negative higher than the positive if the negative is higher than the positive what you have to do is start working on them let's say maybe the negative things that you found about yourself is maybe you talk too much maybe you're not beautiful maybe you're not tall enough in all those negative things you've seen about yourself what are the ones that you can control you're not tall enough you're not beautiful and you talk too much among all these things what are the ones you can control you can control your talkativeness that's one so you can start from talking too much because what you can control it you are not tall enough can you control your height no you're not the one that created yourself so what do you do you find a way to love your height and how do you do this maybe you need to lose weight maybe why you feel like you're too short is because you're fat or maybe because you don't like the size you are so what do you do you try to lose weight do you get so find out in those negative things you've analyzed now what are the things that you can control and start from them then I, I i promise you if you could start from the ones you can control before you know it even the ones you cannot control you just find a way to love them but when you dwell so much i can't control this i can't control it but before you think of negative ones you've already found out the positive ones you love and you keep admiring them you keep you know pushing them to like be the things you see first like you see yourself maybe the negative things you don't like is that you're short so the, what is the positive one so every day you wake up you'll be like ah i have a very fine face before you think of you are short do you understand so first of all add on the positive one before you think of the negative one and what do you do try as best as you can to work on the negative ones that you can control because i feel like this is the ultimate self-love getting better even if it's one percent every day you don't have to move from zero to hundred in a day but you can get from zero to one from one to two from two you just have to do it gradually pick maybe your size tomorrow you pick your color maybe tomorrow you pick your hair maybe tomorrow just one percent better every day and i feel like this is just what the self-love is all about so find a way to self-love evaluate yourself and add value every day then the next thing i'm going to be talking about is show up as the person you admire you've done your um self-evaluation done your positive self-talk you've changed your belief and you've still loving yourself because you've still practicing self-love you started realizing like who you are and you're working on it the next thing is find someone you want to be do you want to be a feminine woman find someone that you look up to and show up as the person there are a lot of people on the internet because you must not really have like a real life friend who is as feminine as you want to be but you can find someone on the internet who is very feminine and you love her personality and you want to be like her just follow her watch her youtube talks you know watch her tiktok what well, there are a lot of social media platform now where you can actually learn how or who these persons are true true so find one person that you actually look up to you must not find the perfect person because I could remember when I started YouTube, I had somebody I was actually looking up to. And right now, I don't even like the person anymore. So find people that serve you. And when you don't, because there's, there are stages in life, the person you will love when you are 16 can never be the person you will love when you are 20. Sometimes it's the same person, but most times it change. The tastes change. It gets better. So the person you're looking up to that you feel like, ah, this person is so good. When you get to 20, you might see someone else that is way, way better than that person. So always find someone that serves you at that point. Observe the person. How does the person work? Try to present yourself like the person you admire, like the person you want to be. Try as much as you can to present yourself that way. Then the next thing is set boundaries because you've worked on yourself. Don't let anybody take you back to where you came from yes set boundaries when you are working on yourself to becoming a better person it's not everybody that is going to get to the next level of your life with you some friends are meant to like be left behind if the person does not serve you let the person go i would always say it's not selfish to love yourself way too much that you want to take care of yourself your mental health matter your 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 mindset your everything matter so if you have a friend that will always talk down on you that will always always make you feel like you're not good enough the friend has to go in fact that person is not even a friend so he or she has to live your life 
know the things you can tolerate and know the things you cannot tolerate and let people that does not serve you go guys i think this is just all i have to say the first thing to stop allowing yourself to seek validation is change your belief and you can change your belief you can change who you are the second thing is words self-love sit down slow down on your life and find out who you truly are tell yourself the truth and then the next thing is what find someone you love someone you want to be like look up to the person and start showing up as that person and then the last thing is what set boundaries don't allow people that did not help you get to where you are to come and mess up your life if the person does not fit into the present you maybe the person is still seeing you as 2006 you or maybe the 2009 you and now we are in 2023 and we're even about to enter 2024 the person should go back to 2016 or 20 whatever and stay there alone you don't want the person in this present life so find a way to set boundary for yourself if you got to this point i love you and i want to look up to nancy see me tomorrow what there bye